on this week's Toro's time. We spent an afternoon with Mesa Arena ice crew. Not only do they keep the playing surface ready, but they also keep history alive. I don't have a team picture for the, oh, I do have a team picture, it's in here. Mesa Arena's workshop more closely resembles a museum than a Zamboni garage. I try to put up pictures that mean something. Ice operations manager Larry McFall has seen the sport of hockey develop in Minot over the past 50 years. All hockey is better in the last 20, 30 years. Better equipment, better sticks, better training. They don't go to McDonald's for a couple Big Macs before the game like we used to do. He's condensed five decades of history into what he calls the Minot Hockey Bible. So that's a picture of me with the 1974-75 uh, uh, team when I was a junior, one of the two goaltenders. Back in his playing days in the 70s, Minot High School practiced outside the ballpark. In the background, you can see the warming house. This is a Corbett Field. As of February 20th of uh, 2020, Minot High was 68, 60, and 3 against Bismarck. McFall says the Minot Minotauros have grown the game in his hometown. They have done an awful lot. The kids look up to him so much. They go out and help with practices and and uh, I think there's a lot of kids in this town in the back of their head that would really want to be a Toro when they grow up. In season number 13, the Toros have lasted longer than any other junior league hockey team in Minot. The one appears when they won the uh, Central Division Championship in the playoffs. They've done so much for our town too and, and the attendance is fantastic. Getting about 2,000 people a game, they've got such a great following now. Winning traditions don't stop with the Toros. We've got Minot State's championship teams up here as well, the 2013 when Wyatt Waslachuk, the head coach, was the goalie. Telling the story of hockey in Minot. I try to get all the championship teams and stuff in here to, to keep the memory going. I've seen history disappear too many places. But you gotta remember where you came from before you can get to where you're going. I try to keep history alive as much as I can.